to us. But very interesting here, though. Very interesting here. When Ibrahim salam spoke to his, when Ibrahim salam spoke to his son, he told him, Allah has commanded me to do this offering. So when we speak to our children, we learn another lesson. Don't say, I want you to pray. I want you to do this. Say, listen, listen. Allah says you must pray. Allah commands you must give your zakat properly. Allah commands you must do your hajj, your umrah. Allah commands that you must do good deeds. Don't say, I'm your father and I'm telling you what you should do. I want you to do that. No, 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 no. Ibrahim salam didn't do that. He was Abraham, Ibrahim. He had the title of the father of nations. But he didn't talk to his children like that. See? He says, Allah says that this is what Allah wants me to do. What do you think? So that's another hikmah in speaking. The people, everybody, generally. You know, words can move mountains. And that's what we learn in the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, how to speak to people. So when our children or someone we are giving da'wah to, when we tell them, Allah says you must do this, Allah says you must do that, then they will know that they're not doing it for you. And if they refuse, they're not refusing you. They're refusing Allah's command. And that's what Prophet Ibrahim والسلام, told him. And he said that Allah commanded you, do what Allah says. So he was a child, a son that listened. His name is someone who listened, Ismail. Maybe a lot of us should make our middle, middle name Ismail. What do you think? 